All right, so this first uh, bonus concept here is going to be based or inspired by uh, Clapton. Clapton did a lot of things that some other legends did, Robert Johnson, all the way up. But this one for me is inspired by Clapton, and it's using uh, the a couple of little sour bends in your basic pentatonic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the A minor pentatonic scale, but in its extension, so it would be 3-5 on the E, 3-5 on the A, slide up to the 7, then 5-7, five, 5-7, seven, five, seven, then slide up with the ring finger, but then we're going to do a little finger transition to our index on the 8th fret of the B to ring finger on the 10, and then 8-10 and then we do it backwards. Ring finger. That's the root. Gone over this a lot, but the concept is gonna, we're just gonna add uh, these little almost, almost out of tune sounding notes, which are great for the blues, plus just great because we can do it on guitar. You can't do these notes on like a piano or or uh, you know, a lot of other instruments. So anyway, when we do that extension on the E string, we're gonna bend this third fret just to the point right before it sounds really out of tune. And then we're gonna play this uh, root note. So you're not gonna hear it bend back down, you're only gonna hear it go up and then boom to the root note. subtle. It's actually harder than it seems because everyone wants to overbend that. But it's more of a just very subtle. And then we do the same thing on the A string. fifth fret of the A string, we don't do it for that note. We keep it natural. And then we use that transition up to uh, the seventh fret of the A, and we don't do that bend there. We only do it right here on the D string again on the fifth, and the G string on the fifth. subtle the better. That's going to be the tricky part is learning how much to bend that note. It's very subtle. Now you're going to follow that through with the uh, eighth on the B with that little bend to 10, no bend, and then the same thing on the high E. And uh, something that I'm pointing out right now is that it doesn't have to immediately go. That subtle bend can be really slow. It almost has like a little drunk sound to it because it's like, oh, you know, you're, you're toying with the tonality of almost sounding out of tune.
But you don't have to just do it in that extended run. No, I just use that as an example, kind of a jumping off point where you can see it in those different positions. But, um, but you know, anytime you're in any of those three areas, you know, just keep that in mind. On the way down, the descending part of that, you can still do it. that in mind, those sour bends, I have talked about them in some other uh, series, but that is always a really cool thing to remember because it adds a lot of character without learning a new scale or anything like that. So stay tuned. I've got more bonus tips coming your way. <laughs> 